Since 1963, the Marietta Daily Journal has recognized individuals from throughout Cobb County who have made significant contributions to the quality of life and success we enjoy in our community. These Citizens of the Year have shared common traits of leadership, vision, and a civic spirit that have made our community better, safer, smarter, richer, more beautiful, and more spiritual. Tonight's recipient is no exception. If you've been to a local high school football game, driven down Interstate 75, or opened the Marietta Daily Journal, chances are you've seen it. That giant blue and yellow triangular logo is hard to miss, and seemingly everywhere. But while the branding behind Superior Plumbing is flashy, most consider the man behind it much more temperate. In 1988, Jay Cunningham outlined his plans for a new plumbing business on a bar napkin. He started Superior Plumbing with a single truck and one plumber, himself, and has grown the company to 30 licensed plumbers and more than enough trucks, trailers, and equipment to service the entire metro Atlanta area. But Cunningham's vision wasn't just to serve the plumbing needs of his community. A caring heart and philanthropic spirit drove him to make our community better in countless ways. As the company saw financial gains, Cunningham used his success to help others. Whether providing limousine services to special needs students going to the prom, sponsoring charity events, serving on nonprofit boards, connecting military veterans with homeless pets, or donating iPads and funds to local schools, Cunningham is always giving back, quietly, without seeking personal recognition. But tonight, the spotlight is turned from his brilliantly marketed business to the Kennesaw resident himself, a father to seven children and numerous animals, including, of course, his beloved dog, Petey. What Jay does that's probably the most remarkable is thousands and thousands of little things that nobody's even aware of. He's interested in not only children who have disabilities, but he's interested in the workforce, especially as it relates to the business that he's in, the, uh, the plumbing business primarily. When he sees a need, he feels the need. And, I, and I've seen over the time, getting to know Jay over the last six or eight years, Jay is in the special needs community, in the vocational, uh, putting vocation back in schools. Jay just doesn't sit on his hands. He doesn't just spend money. He spends money and his time. We're in this apartment complex and it's, it, it's, I don't know that I can put into words what it was like to watch children run to us. Not because we were given away toys or any other good thing but because they were hungry. It wasn't just that they were coming the first time to get lunch, it was that they were coming back. They were coming back to get more for later. And Jay made sure that we gave them everything that we had. It's what he does in the community. What he does, not only on a very macro, large scale, but also micro scale, how he works with families, if it's at Children's Hospital or other nonprofits, one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Mr. J makes Cobb County a better place by doing so many amazing things for all the families around Georgia. Number one, he brings in an energy, and he also creates a model uh, for other business owners to be able to follow. Jay makes sure that he takes care of his community and his community is taking care of him. Uh, police department, fire department, school staff, he helps them all. He'll show up at a place with a grill and cook them all lunch. It's grassroots appreciation. That's what he does and it's great for the community. When you look at all of his projects and his acts of kindness in the community, how can you measure the joy of a mom's face who uh, who has a daughter who has Down syndrome and all of a sudden uh, she's buying a dress and she's getting to go to the prom because of Jay's contributions, who's buying, uh, uh, renting a limo, uh, taking the, the special needs kids to dinner and, and having police escorts to the prom and back. How, how do you measure that? It's because he's relentless in his pursuit of helping those on the front lines, uh, people who do it every day in our community and giving them the resources that they need to have an impact. You just can't measure what Jay has done in our community. 
we have a much better Cobb County and greater Atlanta area because I know Jay's giving and outreach goes far beyond just the Cobb County borders. He's given so much back to this community uh, over many, many years for, for a lot of different organizations and charity organizations and such. He's just a tremendous um, uh, humble person that's uh, well deserving of this award. Jay Cunningham makes Cobb County a better place through his investment. He invests in this community uh, both through his time and financially. Uh, Jay is, uh, can be seen at many places and can be seen making a positive difference. I was new when I came to Kennesaw State. Uh, you know, I said, well, tell me who, who is serving leaders out there, who are people that, are, uh, that really give to something that we want to do here in athletics and really give into the community and give back and uh, Superior Plumbing, Jay Cunningham's name come up, so. People may wonder who the guy is in flip-flops and shorts at the business meeting. As Superior Plumbing's Director of Marketing, I am honored to have learned from a quirky but brilliant marketing mind. In my 10 years with Superior Plumbing, I have learned that Jay does not demand loyalty. He earns it by being fair, honest, and loyal to his values. One of the first tasks Jay asked of me was to read John Huntsman's book, Winners Never Cheat. That set the tone for our working relationship. You know, last Christmas, uh, he buys me uh, my first Piedmont new jacket with our new logo. As you can see right there, he put our brand new logo on it. And I was so excited. Of course, the jacket's warm and everything. And then look what he does to me, man. He puts Superior Plumbing logo on the side. As a pastor, the pilgrimage of a lifetime is when you go to Israel. And I was so thankful when I got to Israel and I got to go to the empty tomb uh, where Jesus' body had laid and then was resurrected from the dead. I was so excited because on the back of the tomb, there was not a Superior Plumbing logo. Honestly, I was a little shocked that Jay hadn't gotten that prime space. Oh, I could tell a lot of good stories about Jay. And um, I, I can tell you stories about uh, Jay feeding families um, in a hospital. I can tell you st and, and have served food alongside with them. I can tell you stories about us going out and looking for Petey when Petey was lost. I can tell you, I, I, for those of y'all don't know, that says beloved uh, pit bull. Um, I can tell you stories about um, when um, folks were were starting to criticize law enforcement and members of law enforcement, and I got a call from Jay, and he said, um, "We have one of the finest sheriffs." Uh, in all the country here and what a great group of people that they are and let's do something nice for them will you come out and will you help me uh, make hot dogs and hamburgers and can we just at least feed them lunch just it's the least we could do um, I have stood which will absolutely br break your heart um, but in a sweet precious way I have stood and watched young girls with special needs who run to Jay and hug him and, and they do it in a prom dress. And it's because he's made a way for them to not only have prom, but go to prom. I have a great story about Jay. Jay cannot sit through an entire sporting event. It drives Marlon Longacre crazy. Hey, if you want to go and see an event with Jay, see the whole game, uh, plan on driving yourself. Uh. There's so many uh, courses, you know, when people ask me what are some funny things about Jay, I, I'm sworn by secrecy because he, he, you know, his lawyer, Justin o o Odell, has, will pull pastor privilege on me, so I can't really share a whole lot. But My funny story about Jay, and I still don't know if it's true today, uh, it would be four, first year we put the roller coaster in at the fair, uh, Jay told me uh, he wanted to ride the roller coaster with Petey. Uh, I still don't know to this day uh, if he was serious or not. I believe he was serious. Uh, he was a new sponsor at the time. I wasn't going to call him on it, but it scared me to death and it still bothers me today. We were going to visit uh, Ike Reichert and his family up in the mountains of North Carolina only to discover that the place we were going was covered with the fires that had burned up there a couple years ago. So we're driving the RV, Jay is driving the RV through the mountains, through the smoke, and we literally drive into the fire. There's flames on both sides of the road, and we pull into the Natahala Outdoor Center where the picnic was going to be, get out of the RV, it's solid smoke, you can't see more than about eight or ten feet in front of you, 
And we proceeded to get out and enjoy a fish fry with Ike's family, uh, those of us guys that were up there. In the middle of all the smoke, the police kept riding through uh, to check on us, wondering if we were crazy uh, or if something was wrong with us uh, while we were sitting there having a fish fry in the middle of a forest fire. Well, I have a lot of funny times, a lot of memorable uh, smile times, a lot of different people uh, that were involved in those times with Jay. Um, he is very, he's an amusing guy. Uh, he's a fun guy. Um, uh, he's, a, he's good people. He's good people. I don't know if I want to share any of those today. Uh, not too many names I'll bring out, and uh, that wouldn't be a good thing. Uh, but let's just leave it that uh, there are many memories that I have from Jack that I can laugh at, that I can smile at, that I can even cry and laughter about. Uh, but I'm not going to mention any of those today. He wanted me to show Mr. Bobby Cox how I, well, I could say, play ball. It was a great moment for me to, to show a legend. The first time I met Jay, the first contact I had with Jay was uh, he called our office in reference to helping him uh, chaperone some special needs kids um, to their prom and, and later on to the homecoming dance. He gave us a call and, and he was going to pick them up in a limo and, and then take them to dinner and then take them to an event uh, that they would never, never forget. Uh, soon after that, Jay approached me and said, hey man, I want to do something for public safety. I want to uh, help or do something for the first responders and people that go out every single day and protect the community. We talked a little bit and the next thing I know, Jay's got grills set up, tents set up. He's got a crew that volunteered that came in and they're flipping hamburgers and hot dogs and feeding three to four hundred uh, first responders and public safety employees and the thing of it is that if someone came up and said well who's in charge of this uh, you look over at the grill and there's Jay flipping burgers and hot dogs and and uh, blowing the smoke out of his face and you know there are very few people I can point to and tell you the day I met Jay the time and, and the physical location uh, or I should say meet someone and uh, and I met Jay on uh, Thursday November 25th maybe about 11:15 in the morning and uh, the reason for that is uh, three weeks earlier my daughter was born, our first, uh, first child, and uh, she had to immediately be rushed to uh, Children's Health Care at Emory. And uh, on Thanksgiving Day that morning my wife and I were bedside with our daughter and she already had a couple surgeries and uh, an announcement went out over the hospital, the intercom system, saying, hey, come on down the, lo uh, the lobby. We are um, serving Thanksgiving dinner to everybody. And uh, so my wife looked at it, and I looked at each other and we went in the elevator, went down to the lobby and there was just the most magnificent spread of turkey and ham and chicken and green beans and mashed potatoes and cranberry and a room full of desserts. It, we joked, my wife and I looked like uh, Willy Wonka had visited. And uh, we had our first thanks. Jay really served us our first Thanksgiving dinner as a family. And uh, Jay was there. And I met Jay and he took time out uh, to speak with my wife Tiffany and I and he kind of calmed our nerves, uh, he calmed our, our hearts, our souls and uh, gave us a very positive outlook on life. And so I met Jay on uh, Thursday, November 25th, 2010. I met Mr. Jay from the Superior Plumbing Kids Club in 2016. Uh, I met Jay because of being involved in the community through the church that I pastor, which is Piedmont Church. And Jay was one of those people that no matter where you were, it seems like Jay was there, always making a difference. Now, over 25 years ago, my wife and I uh, got together with a mutual friend and Jay was with him. Uh, first thing I remember about Jay is imitating his bulldog where he just bought. That's what it is. Jay Cunningham? Uh, I don't know who Jay Cunningham Jay, I don't know Jay Cunningham. So uh, it was actually a Halloween evening, 1998. This is the first time I met Jay Cunningham. And from the very first moment, I realized he was a giver. Because not only did my children go up and get to trick or treat, but they were also say like, Wait, where's the adult? Where's your parent? Where's your dad? Send him on up. So I went up to the door and met Mr. Cunningham and he uh, awarded me with my first cold beer. Jay and I met 
35 years ago at a plumbing association meeting and have been good friends ever since. Uh, I met Jay through the Kennesaw Business Association and Marlon Longacre. Uh, got to be friends first and then uh, five, six years ago got into sponsorship and has become a very good friend of mine uh, over the years. I met Jay Cunningham on a Friday night on the sidelines of a North Cobb High School football game. When we were introduced, we started talking and he uh, let me know that he was a North Cobb High School graduate and uh, he said after a few minutes uh, that he would love to help North Cobb and uh, anything that I needed from him, just ask. So after a few more minutes of small talk, I uh, kind of asked Jay half jokingly, hey, would you like to buy a staff member? And Jay just sat silently for a little while and then he responded, how much would that cost me? So not really knowing because it hadn't been done before, uh, I threw out a figure and uh, Jay said, let me think about it. And so a few uh, days later he called me back and he said, hey, I think I would like to buy a teacher. So can you find out what it would cost me? After uh, several weeks of working with our Human Resources Department in the Cobb County School District, uh, we were able to give Jay a figure for what a teacher would cost and uh, he generously purchased a teacher for North Cobb High School and that allowed us to start our career pathway in both construction and plumbing. So Jay, thank you so much for making a positive difference with our kids on a program that's still at North Cobb High School today. I had just started uh, working on a special project for Governor Deal. It was the beginning of his uh, first term and we were working to try to bring about awareness to the skilled trades across the state. And we were starting our first program to go into Georgia's high schools and, uh, and start this vocational training and uh, uh, education talk. And so um, I was charged with pulling together a group of business leaders from across the state uh, into a focus group to ask them about how the state could better build resources to meet their needs so that we could get more folks employed. And, uh, and I had uh, gotten Jay's name from a colleague and we had extended an invitation to him and there was about 15 people sitting around the conference table in uh, the governor's conference room. It's a very formal setting. And uh, uh, the, the, the focus group, they went through and asked a, were asked a series of questions and, and Jay was pretty quiet. He kind of kept to himself. And uh, of course, some other folks were really out front and they had a list of things that they were looking for and things that they wanted to see the programs do. And Jay just kind of kept to himself. Well, towards the end of the focus group meeting, uh, Jay goes, uh, he raises his hand and uh, uh, he says, I'm, I'm Jay Cunningham. Um, I own a company called Superior Plumbing. Never mind the fact he's wearing a shirt that has the Superior Plumbing logo on it, but that's okay. And, and so he introduces himself in this humble way. And I said, oh, I know you. Trust Superior, the honest one. Call 770-422-PLUM. Never mind the fact that I can't sing. But um, he just busted out laughing. And everybody in the room did too. And I thought, well, what a fool I've made of myself. But I sure made a friend out of it. And I made a friend for life. Jay and I met like, I want to say, 75% of the people in Cobb County. Marlon, his uh, public relations guy, <laughs> but uh, I had a cause. When I came to town and I asked uh, certain people what, you know, who, who would be people that believe uh, in the county, who believe in purpose, who believe in impacting lives, Jay Cuttingham's name appears. And, uh, and so we, we got to know each other for a long time, a lot of Hawks game, a lot of, a lot of different things that we did together. Uh, and we really built a relationship. Now, all we would say, uh, you know, his giving wasn't a business deal uh, to Kennesaw State. It was a belief deal, a belief in what, uh, what we were doing in athletics, belief in what we were about, what we stood for, about serving leadership, about community, about making uh, the greater Cobb County community great as it can be and uh, about impacting lives. So uh, I'm going to leave it up to Marlon. Marlon might be the one that connected us like many of you out there. I'm not sure exactly how I met Jay Cunningham. Uh, probably at some event and I think it may have been the event where he always takes disabled children and their families to a Braves baseball game. Uh, I met Jay through the uh, Kennesaw Business Association. He came up to me uh, after um, Kennesaw Mountain Kids had presented my wife and I uh, an award. They wanted us to be a part of their graduating class and they gave me an honorary uh, degree there and he said, I, I want to 
I want to do what you do. And uh, I want us Superior Plumbing to get out there and do the things that you're doing out in the community at your church. And I want to help some of your projects out in the community. I would say, and I'm not being flippant, effortless. When I see Jay and I see him volunteering at an event, when I see him gathering friends to go to a baseball game, to a Braves baseball game, um, it's so effortless. My one word that best describes Mr. J is unique because I don't know anyone else that helps so many amazing families like Superior Plumbing. I'm not sure if I can come up with one word that describes Jay. There's a lot of words, but I guess if I had to narrow it down, giving. Uh, Jay's one of the most giving individuals that I've ever met in my entire life. I think the only word I can use for Jay on film is giving. Uh, Jay's a giving person, not just financially, but he's a great mentor for other businesses in the community. <laughs> uh. I think if there's one word that could describe Jay is that he's just different. He just thinks different than we do. Generous. Humble. Very humble. I would say the word that best describes Jay is innovative. Uh, Jay has changed sponsorships in Cobb County wholeheartedly. He's innovative. The way he changed with schools, the way he changed with special events, he, his mind is thinking outside of the box, so innovative would be my word to describe Jay Cunningham. Family. The one word that best describes Jay Cunningham is commitment. He is committed to his family, he is committed to his employees, he's also committed to the staff and students of the Cobb County School District. He provides for our, many of our staff members uh, cookouts, uh, for our bus drivers and our custodians, and he's also provided many financial resources for our students to do much better in their career pathways. Uh, Jay is earnest. I'm sure a lot of folks will tell you about Jay's generosity and his goodness, um, but when I think about Jay, I think about someone who's earnest. He wants to make sure that uh, he does a good job. He wants to make sure that he um, shares his wisdom and uses common sense. Um, he wants to make sure that he leaves the world a better place than where, what he found it. I think the one word that best describes Jay to me is, uh, is uniter. And I know that there's going to be people who are serving, you know, funny, uh, you know. But I, I want to say united. I think Jay's ability uh, to have so many different people in his circle, um, from so many different backgrounds, um, and the respect uh, that he has from all of them, and their ability to communicate, uh, and the, really the thoughtfulness uh, to really discuss some of the things that he's doing and to make people think. I, I think it's a unique ability. Jay, from my family to yours, I want to say congratulations. Mr. Jay, congratulations on receiving being named Citizen of the Year Award. Thank you, Mr. Jay, for giving me all these wonderful experiences, especially to meet the Atlanta Falcons. Hey, Jay, good job in getting Cobb County Citizen of the Year. I'm proud to be your friend. I just want to take this opportunity to say, you know, on behalf of my family, my wife Libby, my three boys, and uh, Jacob, Matthew, and Todd, we just want to wish Jay congratulations on being named Cobb County Citizen of the Year. There's not a greater giver, not a greater person, and uh, not, I, I don't know of anybody who's impacted this county as much as you have and help open the eyes up to this county to those people, like I said, who are on the front lines, who do it every day. From bus drivers to, to, to the custodians to the people who park the cars at the Braves game, everybody I know loves Jay because he is always there with the people on the front lines. And Jay, I just want to say congratulations and I love you, buddy, with all my heart. Congratulations, Jay Cunningham, Cobb County Citizen of the Year. Congratulations. Congratulations, my friend. It's a well-deserved honor. You're in, in with a group of superstars, and you're certainly one of them, and I'm so happy for you, and it's well-earned and well-deserved, so congratulations. Jay, I just want to say congratulations on you being named Cobb County Citizen of the Year. What you've done in this community is second to none. Uh, you're a friend of the big and the small. Uh, thank you very much for all that you do for all of us. Jay, congrats on being the Cobb County Citizen of the Year for 
what it's worth, you uh, in my book would be the citizen of the past decade or even perhaps the past century. Uh, I know how much you do for this community and I know how much you mean to this community. I'm incredibly humbled uh, to consider you a friend. It's a true privilege to have gotten to know you and, and I can't tell you how much the things that you do have caused me to consider and shape the way that we want to run our business uh, and, and follow after your lead. Congratulations my friend, it's an honor well deserved. Congratulations Jay on being named the Cobb County Citizen of the Year. Well deserved. Congratulations Jay. Uh, so many congratulations for you being Cobb County Citizen of the Year. Long overdue and well deserved. Uh, he has been a faithful servant, somebody who does a lot of things behind the scenes that most people have no idea that he's doing. But he does it because he has a heart for people. And congratulations, Jay. I'm just honored and proud that they have recognized you. You're the best thing uh, and a good thing for Cobb County. This is such an exciting time for me to come forward and to, uh, I guess, honor uh, the unofficial mascot for Superior Plumbing and Jay Cunningham's dog, Petey, for such a prestigious award. That dog is so cute. Okay, we're not doing Petey, right? We're doing Jay. On behalf of Sheriff Neil Warren and the Cobb County Sheriff's Office, I want to congratulate Jay Cunningham for being selected as a Marietta Daily Journal's Citizen of the Year Award. Dilly dilly, Jay, well deserved. Jay, I know that right now you're the most uncomfortable person in the room. There's no doubt about that. So I'm taking particular delight in that fact right now, and I'm probably uh, trying to catch a glimpse of you and watch you sit there and squirm in your chair. Congratulations on such an amazing accomplishment. Oh, and no, for once, this award is not presented to you by Superior Plumbing. Ladies and gentlemen, Please give a round of applause for the Marietta Daily Journal Citizen of the Year, Jay Cunningham.